Hi, in this video I'm going to try and show off some of the Grim, I believe that's how I pronounce it, models from um, Hassle Free Miniatures, who are a wonderful uh, miniature company, make some fantastic things. Um, a lot of which, as I don't play much fantasy, I can't use, but I do try and um, buy some bits and bobs from them whenever I can. Um, just because the models are fantastic. So, I believe in their product line, the Grimm are sci-fi dwarves. Though, if we take a look at, um, I don't know if we say which one's an average size one, but there we go. If we take a look in at the size difference against an orc, they are quite a lot smaller. So they're almost um, halfling size, really. But the models are just so nice that if that doesn't bother you, I highly recommend picking some of these up. So with there we go. Um, this is just to show off how nice some of these models are. In fact, all of these models are. And. Um, yeah, buy more things from uh, from them because they're a good company. There's probably not much need for me to uh, to say very much for the majority of these, but um, I think what I'll do is I will just show all the models quickly. Um, start at the back. So they've got a really nice, um, some of the helmets are very reminiscent of uh, the old squats, I guess. But um, personally, I, I really like the unhelmeted models. I'm really looking forward to painting some of these at some point. But as I am officially the world's slowest painter, um, that might not be for quite some time. Some great poses. Um, likelihood is is that these are going to form some Imperial Guard allies. But uh, they are just lovely models. It seems a shame not to use them for something. Um, most of the models that you'll see are from the light infantry range um, or the specialist range. There's one or two from that one's from the close combat, but being as their close combat uh, guys are all sort of dual wielding these pistols, I didn't want too many of those. Because these are going to be you know, standing guardsmen. It's not to say they're not nice models, but um, they, they weren't quite what I was looking for. So most of these are the light infantry guys, and they are just great. I also like um, the fact that you get a nice mixture of male and female models rather than just all male models. I do like that. I 
and this is one of the specialist the grenade launcher obviously with these being metal miniatures and all individual ones not perhaps the cheapest option if you're just looking for some generic guard models um, but they are very very nice and they do do some um, I think they're packs of five One of these days I'd like to get some sort of um, rotating platform so I can show these things off a little bit uh, easy and then just doing them in the palm of the hand and trying to force the camera to focus on that rather than what's in the background but this chappy here is likely to be used as a as a sergeant or similar. It's, it's the only thing that I would say is I would uh, I'd love it if they had a few more models which were uh, like this with the close combat weapons. That'd be great. Uh, this is. Heavy weapons team. Now, obviously, if you wanted to, you could probably convert that so that was, say, a Las Cannon or something similar like that. But um, I'm quite happy with that. Most of the people I play against won't mind if you use a count size anyway. But where possible, I do like the models to show um, what you've got. I love the details, like having the what I presume is a little rocket launcher type thing strapped to the back. It's great. This is a little flamer guy. I saw him on the website. I wasn't like I wasn't blown away by the actual flamer itself, but I think the mask I like that. It looks quite cool. This is one of my little favourites. This is uh that's great. This one is a slightly different range. This is the heavy infantry. And they have some quite large oversized guns. Which again is fine. Um, I thought having the odd one is quite nice, but I liked the light infantry better. The final three a little bit different. So they have a couple of sort of steampunk pirate style in a different category. I think these are in the pirates category, I'm not sure. But if you look at the guns that they've got and the style of the clothes, I kind of like the idea of having them as almost rogue trader type characters and this is actually some one of their I think it's grim air support models 
but again it was a nice model and I thought I'd treat myself I'm not sure if I'll use that as a, a sergeant or something similar interesting thing is that's actually probably the the biggest one height wise out of all of them as a final point um, I've found now that uh, for the purposes of video spraying something in grey or another colour just shows up so much better um, so I have started using so this Humbrol acrylic primer um, I've used some of their other sprays before um, to get a base coat of a particular colour and I really like them um, but this is the first time I've tried their primer specifically and it's really nice um, the cans are quite small so you need a couple of cans for let's say each standard games workshop size can that you would buy um, but being as they're half the cost then it works out the same in terms of money for larger models I've also tried uh, some of the Half Halfords primer which is also very good um, but the Halford sprays are very 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 dusty um, they do a good job I've used some of the they're red for some um, Space Marines um, and they're great but they're very cost effective um, but they are very 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 dusty um, the Humbrol uh, acrylic sprays very very fine spray you can really get into the detail bits if you've missed any um, and uh, it's just worth uh, worth trying a few different things out and seeing uh, what works for you. I mean I'll probably still use some of these on um, on much bigger models, tanks and so on and so forth, just because it works out so much cheaper. Um, and especially once you put a wash over, uh, say, say with the red, if you put a wash over the top of it, the, the dusty finish that you get on it, uh, it, you know, it, it cleans it up nicely.